watch the video for module one, lesson 20, multiplication using the compact method or the standard algorithm. Starting in fifth grade, there is no more all partials. We don't use partial products or all partials method anymore. We have moved on to the compact method or the standard algorithm. So for our example, first we have a two-digit number of 28, multiplying it times a single digit number of four. So the first thing we do is we will start in the ones place. Now we multiply 4 times 8, and 4 times 8 is 32, so we put the 2 down, and we carry the 3 up to the top. Since we're now done with the 4 times the 8, the next thing that we do is we just start at the 4 again. We go 4 times 2. This time we're taking that 1's place from the bottom number and multiplying it by the 10's place. 4 times 2 is 8, and we have to add in the 3, which is an 11. So we put down the 1, and we would carry the other 1 over, but there's nothing there. So we just bring the 1 down, and our answer would be 112. I'm going to do another example of 2 digit by 1 digit. Once again, we start with our 1's place. So 7 times 6 is 42. We put a 2 down. We carry the 4. This time we do 6 times 5, because now we have to go to the 10's place. 6 times 5 is 30. We add in the 4 which is 34, so we put the 4 down and carry the 3 over. There's nothing there, so the 3 just comes down and gives us 342. We're now going to move on to 2 digit by 2 digit, which is something that's new for you this, last, this year. So we're going to start the same way. What I'd like you to do first is to just imagine, I'd like you to cover up that 8, we're going to cross it out, and we're really looking at just 24 times 3, which is the same exact thing that we just did before. So if you have a piece of paper, you could cover up that 8 and just hide it and just show 24 times 3. So we would solve that just like before, which is 3 times 4, and that 3 times 4 is 12. So I have my 2, I carry my 1. You don't have to circle it. I circle it to just show you what I'm doing. So we still take that 3, which is in the 1's place, and this time we're going to multiply it times the 2, which gives us 3 times 2 is 6, and then add in that 1, which is 7. Now I know that there's nothing else that I can multiply my 3 by, because I can only multiply by numbers that are up on the top. I can't multiply by the, my next door neighbors. So since um, there's no other numbers up on top of the 24, I now cross out the 3, because I'm done using the 3. I'm now going to go to the number that I had crossed out before, which was my 8. And now I'm going to multiply 24 times 8. So I'm looking at that as something separate. So if I want to cover up this 3 right here completely with a piece of paper, so I'm just looking at 24 times 8, I can do that to help me. So the first thing I do on top of crossing out that 3 is I cross out any numbers that I carried so that I don't get confused. So now I'm starting with this 8 because I'm doing 24 times 8, and the 8 is in the tens place. Since the 8 is in the tens place, I have to start in the tens place right here. So I have to ask myself, what can I put in the ones place to help me out? I can put a 0 in the ones place to help me out. So then I ask myself, I start all the way over the ones again, and I do 8 times 4, and 8 times 4 is 32. I put my 2 down, I carry my 3, and now I go again, 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 3, which is 19, and I add them together, and I get my answer of 1,992. Next example, we have 72 times 56. This time I'm not going to do the circling, but we start, I'm going to cross out my 5, and we're only going to look at 72 times 6, and I start in my 1's place, so 6 times 2 is 12. I put my 2 down, I carry my 1. I'm going to add a 1 in. So I'm done with 6 times 2, so now I'm going to do 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. I have to add in my 1, which is 43. I have a 3 here. Carry it over. I have 432. I'm now done. There's nothing else I can multiply my 6 by. So since there's nothing else I can multiply my 6 by, I can uncover my 5. And I can X out my 6. And now I'm really doing... 72 times 5. Notice I cross out the numbers up at the top as well. So now since I'm starting right here in my tens place, it means I need to start in my tens place, so I have to put a 0 to start my row. So now I'm going to do 5 times 2, which is 10. I put another 0, I carry my 1, 
And now 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. I put that down, and now I add that all together. And I get 4,032. Sometimes I move on to three digit by two digit. It's done the same exact way. The only difference is now there's three digits in the top. So once again, I'm starting with my eight, so I cross out my six. Eight times five is 40. Put a zero and I carry my four to the tens place. So then I go to my eight times four, which is 32, plus the four on the top, which is 36. So I put my six down and carry my three. Now I go eight times three, which is 24 plus 3, which is 27, and I see that there's nothing else that I can multiply my 8 by, so I'm going to uncover my 6, and I'm going to cover up my 8, and cross out my numbers up at the top, and now I'm doing 345 times 6, since this is in the tens place, and I'm starting in the tens place, I can't forget my 0, so 6 times 5 is 30, carry my 3, 6 times 4 is 24, plus my 3, which is 27, put my 7 down, carry my 2, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. And now I add it all together, and I end up with 23,460. Last example, we have 692 times 57. This time I'm going to cross out my 5 in my head, so kind of like I'm just covering it up. I'm not actually going to put an X on it and try to do it without writing my X's. I start all the way over in my 1's place. 7 times 2 is 14. I put down the 4, carry the 1. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 1 is 64. Put down the 4, carry the 6. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 6 is 48. Now, just like before, when I'm done, though, I will X out my 7, X out my numbers that I carried. I know this is in the tens place. I know I need a 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 is 46. Carry the 4. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. And then I add everything together. and I put in my commas, and I have my answer. So this is all for lesson 20 for module one for multiplying two digit by two digit and three digit by two digit.